Hello everybody. So um, I have an example problem for us to do. And this example problem says, I'm looking for my paper. Okay. It says show the thermodynamic identity uh, del T del V at constant S is equal to negative T times alpha P all over CP times KS. Yes. Okay. And it's, it says where CP is equal to T del S del T at constant P and KS is equal to negative 1 over V del T, no, del V del p at constant s and alpha p is equal to 1 over v del v del t at constant p. Cool. Now, remember I said at a point in time thermodynamics just becomes math? This is literally just a math problem. So they're basically giving us the answer and they want us to get there. So what I'm first going to do is substitute everything here into this. So I'm going to say negative T times alpha P. Alpha P is given as 1 over V. I'm just going to put a dot there. 1 over V times del V del P at constant, sorry, del V del T at constant P all over CP, which is T times del S, del T at constant P, times KS, which is negative 1 over V, del V, del T, I'm sorry, del V, del P at constant S. Cool. Now, what can I do here? These T's cancel out, right? This negative cancels with this negative. This one over V cancels with this one over V. So I'm left with something, okay? Del V, del T, at constant P, all over del S, del T, at constant P, times del V, del P, at constant S. Now, what I wanna go ahead and do, um, I'm trying to get del V, del T, at constant S. So I can sort of see that uh, if I, okay, this is equal to this, right? Del V, del T at constant P times del S, del T at constant P times del V, del P at constant S, right? Cool. Those three things are equal, or those two things are equal, right? I can already see that, um, I'm sorry, this is actually flipped, right? Because when you're when you're when you're dividing a fraction, dividing fractions easy as pi flip this second and multiply, right? So what you can do is literally you can leave those constants the same and you just flip the the uh, variables. So this is actually del t, del s at constant p and del p, del v at constant s, right? I see that these cancel out, and you if you you could have done that in your head from here to here, but just to show you where I'm getting everything from. So I'm left with del v del S at constant P times del P del V at constant S. Now, what am I trying to get to? Del T del V at constant S, right? Um, I need a Maxwell equation, and how do I know that? I can see that there's a constant S here. There's a constant S in the final solution, so I sort of need this to be a constant S so I can sort of cancel things out. So, I mean, if... I were you and I didn't know what to do and if let's say I didn't have any Maxwell equations I didn't know how to derive them blah 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 I know that I need to get from here to here so I know that my Maxwell relation rather is gonna be constant s and I'm gonna end up canceling my P's I'm gonna end up canceling a P with a P so I know that my Maxwell relation is gonna have a P at the bottom this is going to have a constant S, and then I'm going to have DT at the top. So my maximum relation is probably this. 
it's probably del t del p at constant s times del p del v at constant s, right? And those will cancel, right? But let me just double check myself, okay? Let me see. I have a formula sheet somewhere here. I just don't want to have to derive the whole thing. Otherwise, I would. if it were an exam, I would have probably had to derive the whole thing if I didn't have a formula sheet. So yes, I can see that del s del v at constant t is equal to del p del t at constant v. And likewise, I can flip those as well, okay? Um, so basically, my Maxwell relation says this. Del S, del V, a constant T is equal to, is equal to del P, del V, a constant I'm sorry, it's del T del S, right? That's what I'm looking for, right? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all give me two seconds. So my Maxwell relation says that del V del S. So it's actually literally that same exact thing. So disregard what I said before. So it's literally this, del V del S at constant P. is equal to del t, del p, at constant s. So that's how I can change this to this. And you see, I knew that before I even looked at the Maxwell relation, right? Simply because I have to get from this point to this point, somehow, some way. So I have to end up canceling some stuff out. So based on the relations of um, just uh, differentials and fractions and everything, because these are both constant s, I can cancel these. So I'm left with, Del T, del V. Let me make that more look like look more like a V instead of U. Del T, del V at constant S. And that's what we were trying to prove, right? So we're done. Cool. Um, if I didn't explain anything clearly, feel free to leave comments in the comment section asking me well, how'd I get this, how'd I get this. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, tell your friends, and let's keep learning thermo. Thank you.